Hey, everybody. Just me today. Um, Sam, unfortunately, is busy, so kind of do a pretty quick um, breakdown of in a couple NBA, a couple NCAA games. Not going to share my screen, um, but here we go. It's been a crazy week. If you all have been watching NBA, Kyrie Irving just got traded to the Mavericks. So who knows what's going to happen in the Nets. LeBron James is about to break the all-time scoring record, which used to be considered as one of the most untouchable records in sports. <laughs> so um, kudos to him. That's uh, a, an amazing feat to happen, even though obviously Los Angeles, I think they're 13th right now in the um, Western Conference. So 11th or 13th. Uh, so possibly we'll miss the playoffs again. Maybe he should come back to the East where he dominated. Um, but here here we go. So not as many games today. Uh, it is a Monday and we do have something special with some props and everything coming for Super Bowl Sunday next week or this coming week, I guess. So uh, starting with the Celtics versus Pistons, um, Marcus Smart is out. I do like the Pistons to cover possibly plus 11. However, they are very, um, how do you call it? Um, you just can't trust them. So we're going to go with Robert Williams, the third over 18 and a half points plus rebounds um, today. So if there is a blowout, uh, I think he can get this. Um, like I said, Marcus Smart is out. So there's going to be some distribution if you want Jalen Brown to potentially um, take his points over. You could do that, but um Williams is averaging 16.3 points and uh, including so plus points and rebounds. So eight, 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 eight points and eight rebounds, 8.2 points, 8.1 rebounds. Um, so even though his average is below the current line, again, Marcus Smart is out. Detroit is rebuilding. So they give up a lot of points and rebounds to centers. That's kind of where they are struggling. Cade Cunningham is out. So they don't really have a big deep center threat. Um, they are they just gave up twenty seven points and thirteen rebounds to Nicholas Clat or to um sorry to Brooke Lopez. Uh, Nicholas Clatton got thirty one points and sixteen re or sorry <laughs> thirty one points and sixteen rebounds to DeAndre Ayton for the Suns just absolutely had a monster of a game. So it is um uh, risky at plus I think it's uh plus 110 or sorry minus 110 or minus 106 106 so an is a, a a very very good interior rebounder however with the Pistons rebuilding Kate Cunningham's out um the Celtics still trying to dominate the Eastern Conference um do do believe there's a lot of value on this so we will go ahead and go with robert williams the third for the celtics over 18.5 points plus rebounds um another prop bet that we have against the dallas mavericks versus utah jazz um not sure doubt Kyrie will play today that trade is still being finalized but uh lord the jazz have been an extreme um They've been ve doing very well. They're supposed to be predicted to be the bottom. But the reason why they're doing very, very well recently is Lori uh, Markinen, if I said his name properly. Um, they are nine and a half point uh, favorites over the Mavs. So over 25 and a half points, he's dominating. Um, I do. He, he averages 26. So this is about a half a point under what he averages. And they will... The Mavericks, obviously, they just traded away a lot of for first and second round picks for Kyrie Irving. They traded a couple uh Spencer Dinwiddle and a couple other trades, uh, I believe, Dorian Finney Smith. So he would have been guarding Markinen. Um again, it's really, really hard to tell how these games are gonna be played out. There's a lot of emotion involved, and it is yes, it is their job, but there's still a lot of emotion involved. So regarding this, uh, we have no idea what um, is going to happen. But I do like him to, to 
take advantage of the emotions coming from from the uh, Mavericks trading a couple of their their star players. So we'll go with Markinen, um, over twenty and a half, twenty five and a half points. So that that's what I have for the player props currently. Um, we have Milwaukee at Portland, a couple of high scoring teams. Um, again, so with this over, um, or sorry, under two forty two. So. Milwaukee is traveling to Portland. That's the same East Coast, West Coast. Um, so kind of go with under two forty two and a half points every week. I always try to find when I we go live in East Coast versus West Coast matchup. Um again, Milwaukee's doing very well. Portland is is very, very high scoring team, but the time zone difference, uh being a Monday off of a weekend, I do like the under two forty two and a half. Um, as well as the Bucks versus Blazers under 242 and a half. So there's two unders there uh, that we have. Milwaukee. Uh, um, so we'll move on to NCAA basketball. Milwaukee is 16 uh, point, 16 and a half point favorites. They're playing a very, very bad team um, with only two wins. So they're in the hunt. To, to win their league, to to make the March Madness. We'll see a lot of these teams trying to get blowout wins. So it looks good in their eyes, in the eyes of um, every year, there's always some sort of controversy regarding the first, first four in, first four out, first six in, first six out, however you want to look at it. So Milwaukee is one of those teams that can potentially make a, a – an upset in the, the March Madness tournament. So they are 16 and a half point favorites. I'm looking at them. They're playing Green Bay or 222, um, Milwaukee 16 and seven. So again, looking for them to have a big win. If this is close, um, they get first or second in, in their league. Pretty much they have to win their league. But then if they have some good wins, some big wins that could potentially make them go from a 16 to a 14 or even 13 seed. And obviously nobody wants to be a 16 team, 16 seed playing the number one seed. Um, another one is the biggest matchup of the day. Uh, we have Kansas um, playing Texas. Kansas are four point favorites. Um, Texas is number five ranked team in the country. Kansas is number nine ranked team in the country. 19 and four versus 18 and five, but Kansas is home. They are very, very tough at home. So we are going to go with um, Kansas minus four. Um, forgot to play, going back to the NBA, Washington Wizards versus the uh, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Marco Rubio um, is out. Um, Kyle Kuzma is out. So Lion has moved from Cavs minus two and a half to minus one and a half. So there's a lot of money coming in. This is a tentative bet. But I do like the Wizards to win this match. So um, Wizards money line, you can get it at plus money. So that's my quote-unquote upset of the day. But um, hope we all have a great week. And hopefully Sam will be around tomorrow for us to go live. So real, really quick re recap. Um, Celtics, Pistons, Marcus Smart is out today. So we're going to go with um, Robert Williams. Points and rebounds over 25 and a half. Or sorry, that was Lori Markinen over uh, 25 and a half. Marcus Williams over 18 and a half points and rebounds. Milwaukee and Portland under 242 and a half. The Bucks and Blazers the same under 242 and a half. Um, Milwaukee and CAA basketball minus 16 and a half. Kansas, I think they get the win against number five, Texas at minus four. And then tentative bet uh, Wizards money line over the Cavs. If you all have any questions, feel free to message me, DM me, um, or Sam in the chat. And we do have something special for you about some NFL props. And we're going to try um, and do a four to six part series gearing up for March Madness on what we look for in bets. So let's have a <laughs> let's have a great day.